it better to settle in a relationship than to be alone? No! <laughs> no. Honestly, before I dated him, I was very okay with being alone. Ikaw yung nagke-create ng own happiness mo eh. Boogs. Edi ako na yung alone. Chill! <laughs> Settling. Ang bigat ah, wow. ang bigat. Wow, what a big word. <laughs> For me, settling in life, pwede mo siyang i-view as positive or negative. So positive, settling in life, ibig sabihin, contento ka na sa meron ka sa buhay. Parang wala ka ng question sa buhay na gusto mong sagutin. Parang kumbaga wala kang reklamo. Settled ka. Pero meron ding settling for less. Kung yung negative side naman is pwedeng i-view nga siya as giving up. It could be two different things, but it's highly, highly subjective per person. It really depends kung bakit ginagawa ng person yung pag-settle. People tend to settle in life because they fear failure. I just don't know. Yes. No. No. Yes. 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 Siguro may mga experiences tayo ah, sa mga childhood natin. So sometimes we don't overcome it or ang hirap i-overcome. It's rooted in certain traumas. Sometimes they would just take the safe route instead of actually going for something more. Parang ito na lang ba yung deserve ko? Ito na lang yung kaya ko? Like they're so scared na what if I try it tapos I don't get it? It hurts your pride. It hurts how you feel about yourself. So you end up not trying. Pero di ba pag takot ka, yun yung normal response ng yeah. body. Natin. Escape or hide. Fight or fly. Oh, Escape or hide. Manang iba naman yun ate. I think people settle not necessarily for fear of failure, but for comfort. Might as well be here where it's comfortable instead of risking something and not getting your way. Inano ko to sa sa life story ni Mama. Kinakabahan pa siya palagi sa mga bagay-bagay. Hindi nag-try out mga, sa mga pangarap niya. The settling, it's, it's more the needs of the person at the time. But, kailangan matuto ng mga tao to face their fears kasi doon tayo matututo sa failures. Is it better to settle in a relationship than to be alone? No! <laughs> no! No! Let me calm down. <laughs> yes. No. Totoo? Yeah. I guess in life, for me, it's really better to share it with someone you love. Like, if they're a good partner, you have a lifelong best friend. Like, you always have someone who's there for you. Yung gusto kong field ngayon is sobrang sakit sa ulo or medyo nakakabaliw. I, I feel like hindi ako magsusurvive alone. Kailangan ko lang ng kasama talaga sa buhay. Yes, being alone is good. But at the end of the day, you get to share what you feel with someone. And I think that's something beautiful and that's something that you shouldn't be enduring alone. No, ako kasi uh, before yun yung mindset ko. <laughs> Tapos nung I experienced na heartbreaks, na-realize ko na parang dapat siguro okay lang na I'm living alone. So no offense ah, I love our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm thinking sa situation but natin. I, I feel like there are toxic relationships in general. Okay. Not me. No, not you, not you, not you. <laughs> the first con is you're not happy na nga eh. Why are you staying? Yung partner mo right now, andyan lang siya for the sake na ano ba, may kasama ka lang. What if hindi ka naman happy? So, would you rather suffer than to be happy alone? Pag mag-asawa na kayo, tapos ang mga expectation mo, hindi naman pala siya ganun. Parang, ayun, marami nga mga sana, parang ganun mga, ano, huwag sisisi ba? So, ba't ka nagsettle kay Papa? <laughs> Yun nga. Parang, <laughs> hindi naman pala dapat ganun. There are a lot of things na you can love in this life. It could be the community, your family. Ikaw yung nagkakreate ng own happiness mo eh. So, hindi ako natakot na maging alone kasi alam ko hindi naman ako alone. Boogs. Eh di ako na yung alone. <laughs> there are certain things in life that I will not settle for. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so what are, what are those things? What are the big things in your life that you personally would not settle for? My job, my house, <laughs> every day. <laughs> Sa akin, ano, finance. Hindi talaga ako magsasettle na ito lang yung income ko or basta laman ng bank account ko. Hindi ako papayag na hindi kakayanin na maging independent yung anak ko. Gusto kong kaya nila buhayin ang sarili nila. Doon ako parang relax ng otak ko. What about the small things in life that you 
don't want to settle for it. I think my routine. I'm more patient with things when I'm able to go through my routine. Nako pag hindi to nag routine, ang gulo gulo niya, ang gulo, ang ingay. I can be up the walls and she's like, Mag yoga ka! Yeah. <laughs> I won't settle less for myself. Kunyari, sasabihin niya sa akin na, you can't you can dress like that. Parang gano'n, no. I was me when before you. <laughs> I don't want to settle because it's a good way to remind myself to take care of myself. You know, I'm turning 40 in two years, so it's very important important for me when it comes to skincare. I don't settle na hindi magtanggal ng makeup bago matulog. <laughs> Kundi magkaka-pimples ako. <laughs> Kasi ako talagang hindi ko na alagaan yung skincare. Siya yung lagi nagre-remind sa akin oh, wash your face every night before matulog. Ganyan. Well, for me kasi, it's kind of like an investment. You put in the work day to day and then through time, doon mo makikita yung result. Lala na ako, kami actually, we always wear makeup eh. Hindi siya parang dapat ano, like sabon lang, ganon. Kayo po ba, Mami? May mga ganito po ba kayong um, skincare routine? Wala, hindi ako nang... Ano yun? Eh. Oo, ganun lang. Hindi lang mo, sabon. Uh, yun lang naman. Water. Yun lang naman ang, Prayers. Ano, oh. Water. Soap. <laughs> no! Ganyan siya, soap lang. Di ba, you're not, di ba you're, not, you're not supposed to use soap in the face? It yes. makes it dry. I diba? am happy you don't use body soap on your face anymore mm. as you did before. Tama. Feels better, right? Okay, so for example, meron kang micellar cleansing water. Oh, in this case, si Garnier, di ba? Tara, may props. Oh, di ba? Oh. So marami kasing gumagawa. Yun nga, mag nag-face wash ka, tapos akala mo meron pang dirt, so gagamit ka nung kung ano-anong toner na. Alam mo yon parang ang hapdi-hapdi sa skin mo. As in, sobrang old school na yon Wala nang ganun ngayon. So, what you do is, instead of after mo mag-face wash, magbamicellar ka muna to remove yung initial layer of dirt, grime, cosmetics, ganyan. Pollution. O, pollution. Bacteria. Ano, ano pa? <laughs> so, yun yung philosophy ng double cleansing. It's... Pangalagaan ng ganda. Yes. Ganes. In everything naman, yeah. di ba? Yung relationship natin, yung kung ano man sa life natin na gusto nating mag-improve, kailangan talaga lagyan natin ng effort. Pursuing your dreams is more important than setting. Dogs. Period. Para sa kanya. Ay! Mm. Para sa'yo, ano Hindi, ba? Hindi, ako naman talaga, <laughs> ganun din. A ako, actually ngayon, na yung career ko right now, I'm okay with it, but then, it's not enough for me. Kasi I know na I want more. Not really naman na parang, ay, grabe, sobrang mahadera ko naman. No, because it's my career, it's for my own good. Kahit na kunwari, it helps sa uh, paying his tuition or, or, or other stuff. But then again, it's not enough kasi self-fulfillment ko yung, yung kailangan ko doon. Napag-usapan naman namin yun sa relationship. Ang priority talaga is career over our relationship. Sabi nga namin, nag-uusap kami, pa paano kung nagka-opportunity out of the country? Gusto namin nag-grow pa rin kami kahit na in a relationship pa rin kami. Grow together and grow as an in individual. Kasi pag umuwi ako sa bahay, tapos nakikita ko si mama, ay, maka masaya araw mo, ganyan-ganyan. Ayun nga, parang naging stagnant siya. Kasi magsitil ka tapos may mga pang pangarap ka pa, di, di ka masaya. Di, unahin mo muna yung mga pangarap mo. Ano po yung mga pangarap mo? Sana makapagtrabaho. On my life, doon lang ako sa bahay eh. Ayun na nga, nagkaanak na. Siyempre, yung gusto kong hilig, mga hilig ko na mag-aral ako ng ganyan. Bliss making, cooking, mga ganun. 50-50. Unsure. I mean, the instinctive answer kasi is, is of course, pursuing your dreams is more important than settling. But then sometimes, kasi there are circumstances outside of your control. That... I do believe that you can achieve your dreams and settle down with the right people. Agree flag is when those people actually push you to achieve your dreams. Sometimes you just have to put those dreams on hold for a bit. Like, don't think of it as, I'm gonna settle in this place forever. Uh, I don't want to invalidate din naman yung mga nag-give up na kasi syempre, baka sa kanila, yun na yung endgame nila. But then for me, sana, sana makita nila na yung, yung light na parang, it's okay. Okay pa, nahabulin mo ka ano yung gusto mo. Kasi, ano ka pa eh, meron ka pang chance to do it. Do you think settling in life leads to regret? Does it lead to Oh no, you're <laughs> don't have a review. Yes, as in, as in, yes, yes, no, but then.
unsure. Sa akin kasi, magkaiba yung comfort sa fulfillment. Comfortable ka nga sa ganyang buhay, kaso fulfilled ka ba? I guess, yes, magre-regret ka if magsisettle ka. It depends kung anong bagay yun. For context lang, I still live with my sister. Wala akong own house, wala akong own cars. If magsisettle ako, wala akong gagawin, hindi ako mag-effort. Ganto na ako forever. Freeloader lang ako sa sister ko. Sobrang daming opportunities na pwede mong ma-miss out. Tao lang din naman tayo. So, sometimes Sometimes, when we think we're settling for the right thing, we make mistakes. Sometimes, it can lead to regrets. I was in finance more than like 10 years ago. But every single day, I was unhappy. I didn't like how people were treating each other. But the money was great. I feel like a career like that isn't very fulfilling. Yes, you have a lot of money, but I would like to be happy in the daily things that I do and challenge myself. There's so many things I want to do in life. And I know like realistically, I'm most likely not going to be able to achieve everything. But does that mean I settled? If we settle, that yearning is always going to be there. That what if, that doubt is always going to be there. What if I did this? What if I did that? We, we owe it to ourselves to kind of find and self-actualize our most authentic uh, being. I feel that I just want to share my empower as a woman. She's more than my mom. She's a whole person. What is that? Deserve me. Deserve me. Maging masaya na yun lang. Mas pero natuwa ako kasi oy buti yung anak ko nagsusuport sa akin. Excited din ako na ano pagdating sa bahay tikman ko na yung mga luto mo parang ganun. Kung nagkukuwento siya, may spark sa mata na niya na never ko nakita before. There is no perfect life honestly. Settling down means that you've taken those questions, you've placed them in your heart because every choice that you make, every mistake that you made defines who you are as a person. Fantasy ka lang na magpa yes, fantasy like, tapos. Yeah, mo lang ang fantasy mo. Fantasy mo. Pagfili mo ay okay na ang fantasy era ko. As Go, settle ka, girl. Before you settle, look at your life and see if you are balancing your play and your work. Trying to understand what your goals are in life. During my med school uh, life, sobrang stuck ako na hindi ko alam kung dapat ko pa ba ituloy, o dapat ko pa ba siyang tapusin. Ang advice ko lang sa'yo na siya rin ang nakatulong sa akin. Isipin mo lang bakit ka ba nag-start? Bakit ka ba nag-umpisa? You should come into life not settling for less. Tama yun. Tama diba? yun. Basta for yourself, do the most. Yes! <laughs> Are you giving the most? We're doing the most. <laughs>